Review today on MTM Case Guard. It's their tactical mag can. It's, uh, it's one of the newer products that they have out. This mag can holds 15 magazines and it holds 10, 20, or 30 round mags in here. Um, it's a it's water resistant. It is plastic, so uh, if it gets rained on, it's it's not going to get in. It has a watertight seal that runs along the inside of the lid here, but it's not submersible. So if you go ahead and launch this thing in your pool, you're going to get water inside. It says it has a heavy duty latching system. It's not. All it is is these plastic latches. I mean, it's not, not really heavy duty about that, but. It does make it does bring the lid down nice and tight to the, the lower part of the can and there's no movement between the, the lid and the bottom of the can and even when you pick it up there's there's no jiggle so it is it is a pretty tight seal which uh, which I like about this it has a uh, foam pre-cut um, insert on the inside of this and I'll show you that in a second um, which makes it really organized, which is why I bought this. It has these four tabs up here, here and here, and over there in the, in the back corner. That's so if you purchase more than one of these cans, you can stack them on top of each other and they're not gonna slide off. It also has three locking points on the can here, one here, one in the center, and one over here to keep curious hands out of here or you know your really good friends who like to swipe your magazines from you but uh, the main reason I purchased this is because of how organized it keeps all your magazines okay see what I'm talking about it uh, it's nice and organized they're in there they're secure uh, it's not too loose but not too tight okay and as far as the the foam insert which is keeping them that way insert there and that's what's making them stay and nice and secure but these walls here here and here I think over time that they're gonna break you know if you if you're using this at the range and you're taking your mags in and out non-stop um, I think the wear and tear will will break those firm inserts but uh, it says it holds 15 round or 15 magazines. However, I found that uh, if you throw a mag here, another mag in between the rows here and here, you can you can fit three more magazines in here. Those ones will shake around a little bit, where these ones will be more secure. I purchased this at Cabela's for about 21 bucks, so. Uh, I thought, you know, it's not that big a risk. I'll try it. I like the organization of it. Why not? Brings me on to my uh, my likes. I like that it's made in the United States, first off. Okay? So, uh, it says it right there. Made in USA. So, I, I like that um, about the products. Whenever I can, I try to purchase things that are made, uh, made in-house. Another thing I like about this is the organization of it. I really like that I know that I have all my mags in one location, all nice and pretty and organized. That's just me. It's just my personality. You may not like that. You may like take the foam insert out and throw as many magazine, magazines in here as you can. That's you. But for me, this is what really drew me to this product. Um, the price is an also, an also another like that I have. Um, like I just got done saying 20, 21, 22 bucks. You know, it's it's not that not that big a risk. You'll blow that in a bar in a half hour. So uh, that was that was one of my likes. Um, I like that I can just have all my mags preloaded, ready to go for the range. Pick this thing up, and I'm on. Uh, I really I like that about this. So some of my dislikes is that I can pick this thing up, boom, and I'm out of here. So if somebody comes in your house, breaks in your house, you ha they have all your magazines, they can pick this up fast, easy, toss it in their car and they're gone. Uh, these locks aren't gonna stop them.
So I'll just take a sledgehammer to that, which brings me to my second dislike, is that it's made of plastic. If it's cold out, you drop this thing off the back of your truck or something, it's gonna crack, it's gonna split. I really would like to see this thing made out of metal um, so we kind of kick it around and abuse it a little bit more. Um, another like, or sorry, another, another dislike I have is um, the foam inserts. And I already said that. I said that the foam inserts, those, those small walls there, I think over time they're gonna break and um, you know, I'm just gonna have mags bouncing around. But uh, if this is something that I'm going to keep just for zombie apocalypse, keep all these mags, hollow points just for that, then I, I think I'll be all right. Uh, another dislikes that I have about this, I would like to see them put like maybe like a, a nameplate here. And I could slide an index card in there that if I have multiple cans stacked up, I can just look right at this can. Okay, these are my Magpul 30 rounders. Okay, this can is my Magpul 20 rounders or my Magpul uh, uh, 300 blackout or the hollow points or my ball ammo. I would like to have something on here that I can just look, you know, on a stack of these and say, okay, this is this is the one I want or no, this is these are my good mags that I'm just keeping for end of the world um, kind of thing. So, oh yeah, I could always write with a sharpie. You know on this Lancer mags 30 rounders but uh, like I said the reason I bought this thing is because I like to be organized I like to be neat and clean I think that would have been a nice clean look on the side of this I could identify this box so here it is it's a MTM case guard it's their tactical mag can as you can see there's nothing tactical about this but that's what they call it so if you like the video like it if you like the kind of videos I'm putting out subscribe thanks for watching